can I say something to you? And I may be wrong about this, but I don't believe I am wrong about this. There are times when, like, I believe I am being tested in the area of patience, as it seems <laughs> like with so many situations in my life, as it seems, I have to be so patient. When it comes down to me picking people up for rides, like with many of them, as it seems, I have to be patient. Like I have to wait. You know, the thing I don't like, and I know there may be some times when a person may be late, but if someone tells you a time to be ready, like, if anything, be ready before it's time, right? Like, if you tell me a time, how are you going to be late? <laughs> and most of the time, I am on time and I have to wait for you. If we agree upon a time, why not be ready? Like, if I am doing you a favor, why not be ready? Like, do I have to wait on you too and do you a favor also? As it seems like. And there are some other things that are going on as well. And as it seems like I am being tested with patience and <laughs> sometimes like I think things get very obvious that I believe I am being tested in the area of patience, if I can say that. And you may say to me, Kevin, why do you believe that? Why do you believe that is happening to you? Okay. Different things may be happening to you. You may not be getting tested in patience. You may be getting tested in anger or something else. I believe Earth is a place for us to become more like Jesus Christ. I believe in order to become like more like Jesus Christ, I believe we have to be tested to obtain or to increase in certain and certain or all attributes of Jesus Christ. So, from my understanding, and if you are weak in a certain area, I believe God is going to test you in that area. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, are you where you need to be in him? Like, is your life pleasing to Jesus Christ as you are when you first give your life to Jesus Christ? No, right? So, if there are bad qualities within me, what do you believe, what do you believe needs to be done to get them out. 
I believe I need to be purged. I believe I need to be put in the fire, as in tested and tried. If I read the Bible and the Bible tells me to be long-suffering, patient, watch what I say out of my mouth, shouldn't I, <clears throat> shouldn't I use what I have learned and place it in my actual life? Look now. How can I say this? Some people may see problems as always bad. And I believe I have told this to more than one person. I don't think all problems are bad. I don't think all problems are bad. I think some problems are good because I think some problems may push you closer to Jesus Christ. I think some problems may make you a better person. So you may be <clears throat> praying to God to take away a certain problem, but that problem may be helping you to change and become more like Jesus Christ. Do you understand what I am trying to say to you? With me right now, I believe I am being tested in patience so much. And you may say why, and I believe I told you why. And another reason I think I am being tested in the way I am, maybe in the future, God wants me to have more patience. Maybe he has something planned for me where I need more patience. So perhaps he is building me up to do something he has planned for me. So why should I fight against the testing? Why should I fight against, if I can say this, the purging, which I believe I am being purged and I believe I am being tested. So if this be the case, why fight against it if it is for my good and for the good of others and for our God. I may not like my problems all the time. You know, I may get frustrated or irritated or angry or cry or whatever else, but ultimately, if it is for the sake of Jesus Christ, isn't it for my good? Do you understand what I am trying to say to you? So if you are being tested, if you are being tried, yes, it may feel uncomfortable, but I think it is for your own good. Um, I have a reading Bible partner and if I am not mistaken, I believe at more than one point of time, if I am saying that right, that person was going through so much problems, like so much problems. And pretty much what I would tell that person, look, I believe you are going through the fire. I believe you are being tested. So if this be the case, do what is right and continue moving forward. Don't look at your problems and become depressed and 
pity yourself and turn your back against Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. Continue doing what is right. Don't do wrong. Move forward while you are going through your problems. And now, maybe everything is not right, but that person is not going through, as far as I know, is not going through so many problems as before. Problems may last for a while, but I don't think they are never ending, if that makes any sense. Do what is right and move forward. Let me stop here. God bless you.